Welcome to the Deep End Podcast. Here with Joey. I'm Nick. And I'm Mike. Today, today we're going to be arguing about who's the best Spider-Man. With the recent film coming out, you know, Spider-Man No Way Home with your boy Tom Holland in it, who's mid. Not going to lie, he's mid. Bro, what are you talking about? Tom Holland is not mid. Bro, the OG, Toby, and then you got the best Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield. It's not even How? Bro, Andrew Garfield has the funniest moments by far. How? How? No. What do you mean, how? Oh, oh this man is literally in a car with a robber, and he's going, really? You you look like a robber? Like, <laughs> don't look like him next time. You're, you're telling me. He's the most sarcastic, most funny. It's not even close. No. What about when, like, Tom Holland's, like, naked as Spider-Man and, like, Aunt May comes in? Like, that, <laughs> like, like, exactly. It's already got you laughing. It's no. already got you laughing. Why is that your favorite moment? Because it's hilarious. That's not It's iconic. hilarious. That's not iconic, man. What do you mean? It's Tom, iconic because you started laughing. Holland was given the best cast possible. Yeah, that's pretty Andrew pretty Garfield pretty worked pretty with pretty almost pretty nothing. Pretty nothing. Pretty okay. He got Jamie Foxx. He, he had, had the Emma Stone. Stone. He had Gwen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, he had Jamie Foxx as his best villain. How's your research? Bro, Tom Holland literally had, like, he had the best villains. Tom Holland? Actually, no, I won't say that. Toby did. No, Toby had the best villains. He had the best villains. Yes. No, I don't know. I feel like Andrew Garfield. The, like the lizard went crazy. No, Electro no. went crazy. Like he did have very good villains. Bro, he had Russian villains. Russian villains. That is bro. Crazy. That was bro. The the rhino was at the very end. He didn't even fight. He doesn't count as a villain. Everyone talks about how he had no screen time. Who? Right, right. Yeah, because he wasn't a part of the film. He, you can't like say that as one of his villains when it was like in two minutes. Exactly. So you're giving Andrew Garfield less, less to work with, and he was still that funny. Bro. He's that guy. He's that guy. He's, he is not that guy. guy. He's not that guy. Toby McGuire. Toby is the guy. Everybody grew up on Toby. Toby's the OG. Toby, I'll give him that. Toby, Toby's the OG. Yeah, yeah he is the that. OG. Without that movie, he he is the perfect Peter Parker. He was scrawny. He was. You know, people didn't like him, or like he was nerdy, and then he got Spider Man and he became confident. And he got that little dance in the third movie, you know. The <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> Bro, with, without the bad guy, Toby, though, let's be honest, people aren't gonna think he's that funny. That's like his no, most like, I, like, like. I thought it was still. Funny. It's called Bully McGuire, bro. It doesn't look it matter. Up. No. I, I know what it is. Most bro, popular just, scene. Even like the first movie itself, like, it was just really good. Come on now. Yeah. See, see. The second so you think movie, Toby's the best. Yes. You think Toby's, Toby's the best. best. Toby, Toby, Toby by far is number one. And then you got Tom. We Holland. even have our camera guy doing the Bully McGuire dance. Really yeah, bro. <laughs> he's just doing the he's doing the dance. The finger guns. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah. So like, cause what was it? Spider-Man No Way Home has overtaken Titanic on box office. Impressive. And, you know, it is. It Good is. for Tom Holland, man. Good for Tom Holland. You gave him Zendaya, bro. That's why he's number Every two. Every simp's gonna go see that. That's not even, the, like, that's lame. That's an L. That's plus an ratio. L? L plus Honestly, ratio. Yeah, L plus ratio. L plus ratio. Yep. Zendaya's at least bringing in a couple million to that. Respectable. Yeah. Tom Holland is good though. I'll understand. give him that. He's like America's sweetheart. I'm not gonna lie. And he's not even American. He's British. <laughs> well, that's because yeah, exactly. Tom Tom Holland is number two because you can't beat the original. And then so Andrew you're telling me Toby would be third in my opinion. No. What? I say it goes Toby Garfield Holland. No, Toby Holland Garfield. No. I think Holland is the worst. I'm not gonna lie. Really? I don't. Yeah, yeah, I think like he's. It's not like he's saying he's bad. He's not. No, he's not bad. Like, he can give all of them their respect. It's just they like, are all very good. Like, he doesn't compare yeah. to the other two. I, I just feel like Miles. We nobody even. Like, Miles Morales, bro. Like I, I don't know. Miles the Morales. Nuke on the block. I, I'm not gonna yeah, lie. He's number one. If they give him a live action, depending who plays him, he could be better than one of the others. Yeah, that's. No, I, I, no, they, I, just I just feel like that. it depends who casts. I, I don't know. I just feel like because it's an anime. There's rumors of. If Jaden Smith, Smith, if Jaden Smith is Miles Morales, that would be so fire. Uh, I, I don't know. That. I don't know. I, feel I like could see his dad being a villain too. That would be pretty cool. Will Smith versus Jaden Smith. I could see that. What, bro? Could you I could imagine? That. Imagine Will Smith in the MCU. Oh, Dude, that'd be that, so. Fire. That would be good. That'd be so bro. fire. That would be really good. Actually. We get a new uh, Spider-Man in the Spider Verse, bro. Yeah. Will Smith, Spider-Man. Will Smith. No. Jaden no. Smith, his son, yeah. Spider Boy. Oh, yeah. I, I think that's a good idea. So we took a poll in our school of 112 people, and it had 57 of them 
was Tom Holland was the best. 34 said Toby was the best, and a hundred, or wait, 21 of them said Andrew was the best out of all three. You should have had that bro. You should have had it that one. Keeping it in. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. You can keep that wrong. Of course. This, is, this, whole, this whole thing is wrong. <laughs> Alright. So, so by the school standards, Tom Holland is the best, Garfield is the worst, and Toby is mid. That's just that's blasphemy. You guys can't be it. Yeah. That's blasphemy. You guys are just I feel like it's because of, I, don't know, I just Tom Holland has all the hype around him right now because of his new film. Yeah. Give it like another two years. I don't know. Maybe it's just because the other films are older now, though. Like now, the more people you ask who are younger, they're gonna start saying Tom Holland. Yeah, that's that's, that's what I think. But I think yeah. like it just ages like fine wine. Like, come on now, like. Um, just like both of them are like, like, like fine. All right, bro. Not like that, but you know what I'm saying. Like the movies age well. I'm just saying Andrew Garfield is in the same. He couldn't save his girl. Tried to save. Give him his respect, bro. Oh my gosh, that was that was so fun. This is spoilers, but when they're in like the newest movie and he like saves Zendaya like he got like a second chance yeah, no, to redeem cool. himself. Awesome that was movie. awesome. Because we saw yeah. Tom go to save her, he got yeah. stopped by a goblin and then... Yeah. Garfield, it was, it was awesome. <laughs> if you Garfield ever see it, like, go see it. It's Gar great. Yeah. Garfield looked like he was about to cry. I'm not gonna lie, I went to the theaters, my audience there was like amazing, like their reactions were hilarious. Yeah. So like when Andrew Garfield came out, everyone went crazy. When yeah. Toby went out, some dude in the front yelled, oh gee, yeah. Yeah. Bro, that, was, that was a good reaction. Yeah. I've never seen an audience have such a good time watching a movie before, like even Avengers Endgame, it wasn't that like really? interactive. With mine, it was like interactive. I was talking to the guy next to me the whole day time. When it came out. Oh, I went, I went at like... On a Thursday, and then, like it turned midnight, and they had a midnight showing like Did on the Friday. Yeah, bro, it was awesome. Me and the dude next to me were like laughing our butts off the whole time. Well, that brings me to another thing. What was better, Endgame or the new Spider-Man movie? Because this new Spider-Man movie is this close to overtaking Endgame in the box office. I think I honestly think Endgame is just unbeatable. I do that too. point. I do too. Yeah. That's uh, what I, I think, but I feel like, because everyone's been waiting for this moment for so long to bring back all three actors who have played Spider-Man. Yeah, I guess it's, uh, it's just... I just feel like Endgame is just unbeatable. I feel like Spider-Man, Spider, like Spider -Man, it, the reason it's like has so much gross in sales is because like there's so much hype of it through so many years, but I feel like Endgame was just like, it was the culmination of 22 movies. Or, how many was it? It was 20 something. It was above 20. Yeah. Combination of 20 plus movies all into one final like shebang. Yeah. Like you like you can't top that. And like it's a great movie, but it's not Endgame. It's not it's not Endgame. No, I don't I don't see anything passing that. No, I mean maybe in like yeah. just like uh, it's just like, it's culmination of so many storylines all into one. And like yes, this has like this has what you have three from uh, to uh, Toby, two from Garfield, three from Tom Holland. Yep. So and they already have another one planned with Tom Holland. Right after this one came out, they were talking about they're already in the process of making it. It might have just been a rumor, but it, I saw somewhere online that they're making another one. And they want to bring back Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. They're both interested in coming back. We'll see what happens. It's only if Tom Holland says he wants to do a fourth feature, because he yeah. said he didn't want to do it. He, like, he actually talked about just playing a movie where he's just Peter Parker, no Spider-Man. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that'd be interesting. That'd what be less action. What if you guys want to touch on the, the little Venom scene at the end? Oh yeah. Oh the yeah. Post credit okay. scene. Yeah. Yeah. So in the next movie, we're, you're probably gonna see Venom. Probably. One million percent. Uh, so there's gonna be a. Will he be a villain or will he be like it's the type of Venom in like the Venom movies where he's a good guy? He's gonna kill him. <laughs> he's gonna kill him. Or will Peter Parker get a symbiote suit? I think that's possible. Yeah. I think we're gonna see another. Uh, Bully McGuire scene in the future or something. Bully McGuire. Um, they have They're to definitely going to reference it. They're going to, yeah. There's going to at least be a reference, especially since I've seen that they want to bring him back. There's going to be something there. Like, I don't know if he's going to help the Tom Holland with that. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see what happens with that. So, so what are our final rankings? Like, what do, like, what can we... Andrew Garfield's up here. Right. No beat. Right. Like, Toby McGuire, the OG, right here. I think you need to go somewhere. I think he needs to leave. I think Toby is the best, but Andrew's like, 
close, but at the same time, like not close. But, uh, it's hard to explain. Can't be there. Till but Tom Holland is not. Uh, is just not the best. He's the worst. If yeah, man, unless you're counting you Miles, then <laughs> I, 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 Miles, I mean, Miles, really Miles it's Morales just, is all the way. It's out. just animated. It was a good film. Though. If it you've was. seen it, it was a good film. All right. Well, <coughs> thank you guys for joining us on the Deep End Podcast. Let us know what your rankings are, and uh, we'll see you later. <laughs>